they let electrons flow, and if you um, pass a magnet to the coil, electricity will flow, and if you put the coil <coughs> to the magnet, then electrons will flow. Yeah, and then the distance is very important because the closer it is, the stronger field, there will be a stronger field. And um, it's not exactly the magnetic field is the one that's generating electricity, it's actually the moving field. So. The machine can produce up to 1.5 volts. It weighs 3.5 kg. Its length is 94 centimeters and a height of 47 centimeters. All the materials are second-handed and reused. For example, <coughs> possible areas of improvement may include more coils around those screws to make generate more electricity. A lighter turbine will allow a smoother and faster rotation. You can use recycled plastic to make the body or frame lighter, and then this making the machine smaller and more portable. Lessons learned uh, about physics. We learned that copper wires are coated, and that if the coats are removed, the inside copper is exposed and can better conduct electricity when connected to other exposed copper wires. The region around a magnet in which magnetic effect can be detected is called the gravitational field, magnetic field, and the magnetic field side. And the closer the magnet is to the coils, as what she said, the stronger the attraction. Electricity can only be generated when the magnets move further and closer to the coils. All our lessons we learned include and that dividing task results in faster progress. And then teamwork teaches people um, about leadership and cooperation, how we can work together in better ways. And time is precious, procrastination is the worst.